Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm very glad you're here again and today I'm going to do another review. If you're new here, my name is Martin and I do perfume reviews. So today I'm going to talk about another perfume and it's going to be another Middle Eastern fragrance from La Tapa. So the fragrance I'm going to talk about is um, Oud for Glory by La Tapa. And as you can see, and if you know Oud for Greatness by Nishio, then this is not only a dupe, but it's a clone and it's just nearly identical. And the thing is, it's done very nice. I mean, I like, I like the presentation. It came in a beautiful packaging here, this one. And the problem is it's just a ripoff. So I don't know if it's legal or I don't even know how they did it, but they just they did it. And I think they did a great job overall, but it's just not very creative. And you do get like a clone nearly identical as the Inishu one. And this is a very heavy bottle. It does look very beautiful and very luxurious. You have, um, as I said, a very heavy glass bottle. You do have beautiful um, golden ornaments it's like metal so beautifully done and I also like the bottom part I think as far as I know that Inishi one doesn't have that so it's like a golden plate with the name it's an early parfum con concentration and it just says where it's made it's made in um, the United Arabian Emirates and you get 100 milliliter as far as I know the original one from Inishi is 90 milliliter so you do get 10 milliliter, milliliter more and you don't really pay a lot because I paid 25 euro for this one and initials actually costs over 300 euro that's what I know I just don't know the exact same price it always depends where you buy these fragrances but it's just a lot um, more expensive than this one here and this is also going to be a first impressions more or less because I've just received this one. I haven't been wearing this one, but I'm definitely going to wear this one today. So it's going to be the scent of the day and I can't wait, can't wait to try it, but I've already smelled it um, before I started filming. And I do have this one on my wrist actually. And I was trying to check how it um, develops. So you do get a very... Um, metallic opening like the opening is very harsh very sharp and also alcoholic so you do you do gonna get the feeling that it's very synthetic but it's just the opening and then like around one minute later you do can start to smell um the notes actually and you do get the patchouli i feel like the patchouli is really the main character in this fragrance um, in the opening especially you do get the nutmeg and you do get the saffron but the saffron is more laid back so but the nutmeg is really in the front so very dominant and very spicy and oriental there's also lavender in here I don't really get a lot of lavender uh, when it comes to the dry down when it comes to the middle notes they're nearly identical but in the dry down you do get um, the musk as well with the patchouli um, and uh, the oud and the name says Oud for Glory or Oud for Greatness, depends on which one you have. This is the Oud for Glory one and it's a very Oudy fragrance. The Oud in here is kind of medicinal and also kind of skanky. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's not really refined or very um, sweet. You do get the Oud and there is like a sharpness to this Oud in here. So you do have to like that. But I do like it, like I don't have a problem. I also have um, Chagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian and even though it's a sweet Clermont fragrance, the Oud in there is very strong and very dense, just like this one here. <coughs> but other than that, also a lot of people said that this one is similar to Buffer Rouge 540. I don't agree with that at all. Like um, when I sprayed this one again and also like when I smell it on um, my hand, I don't get Baccarat Rouge at all. Like it does have that burnt sugar vibe, like with Baccarat Rouge 540, but I don't feel like that's enough to say that they're similar. Um, and Baccarat Rouge is m much more airy, where this one is more dense. Like there is like a thickness about this fragrance 
and it can be a little bit cloying. I feel like this is a fragrance you shouldn't overspray at all. And I, I feel like I'm not going to wear this one on itself. I'm probably going to layer it with other fragrances. Um, like, for example, Bac Rouge 540, because I was expecting it to be like the perfect mixture um, of Bac Rouge 540 and like an Oudi fragrance, but it's not. Um, but it does remind me on another fragrance I have, and it's from, um, I think it was Asdaf. It's called Majd Al Sultan. And this is a very smoky and incense fragrance, similar to, I think it was Mason Margiela's By the Fireplace. So there are a lot of different names. I don't want to like mess it up now, but this one is more similar to um, the Majd Al Sultan than to Bak Rouge 540. Like I was instantly getting that vibe when I tried this one um, the first time. But I do like it. I do feel like I have to get used to this fragrance. So as I said, I'm not going to wear it on its own. I'm definitely going to layer this one. But it's definitely worth a try. It's unique. I don't feel like it has like most of the Middle Eastern fragrances I've tried. They have like this typical rose wood combination with some saffron and some like um, gourmand notes, maybe like caramel or vanilla. Whereas this one really goes in a whole other direction. I'm very happy that it's not really that similar to Bac Rouge 540. So this really is a fragrance on its own, even though it's a dupe for the Inicio for um, greatness. But yes, I will have to try um, and wear it so I can see how the longevity is and how um, it projects. But from all the reviews I've seen, and I've watched tons of reviews and also read a lot of comments everyone was saying that this really is a very strong performing fragrance it's a beast mode fragrance it's probably probably going to last around 10 hours and i do have a feeling that this is going to last very long on my skin especially so i will have to um, try this one and then i will keep you guys updated so that's actually everything I wanted to say about this fragrance. You do get the beautiful presentation. I will show you the packaging here again and you can like open it and then it has um, the bottle in there. You get the heavy bottle, really high quality. Um, you do get a very unique fragrance. I would really say that this is unique and it's not a people pleaser. I know for sure it's not going to be a people pleaser. And from the smell alone, I would say that this is more of a summer or fall fragrance um or not actually summer i meant to say uh, fall and winter fragrance but we have summer right now i'm going to wear this one today because it's actually not that warm here in vienna so that's actually everything i wanted to say i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please hit the like button subscribe comment down below what you think about this fragrance if you have tried this one and I hope to see you guys very soon for another review. Thank you.